Welcome to the how-to video for the scripting tool in CMG's Builder. The scripting tool can be used to easily generate hundreds or even thousands of geological realizations with just a simple click of a button. And this can be done instead of manually having to create realizations one by one. This automated method of creating realizations can also be very useful when coupled with CMOS to perform a robust optimization study in an attempt to find a reservoir development solution that works for a wide range of realizations as opposed to just one. So here I have a model open in Builder that has already been fully defined. In addition, I have set up a geostatistics calculation to determine the porosity distribution in the reservoir. To view this geostatistics calculation, I can click on Reservoir and then select Geostatistics. So as you can see here at the top, the name of this calculation is Pore and the output property from the Geostatistics is Porosity. In the Points tab, I have specified porosity values at different locations in my reservoir as indicated by the information gathered from the Core and Log tests. In the Methods tab, I have selected the Gaussian Statistical Simulation method, which means I'll get a different realization every time this geostatistics calculation is run. So my goal in this video is to get 10 different realizations for the porosity property. One way to do it would be for me to run this tool 10 different times by clicking on this Run option and save each individual model as a new realization for porosity. However, this is a very tedious process, and if I had to do it a hundred or even thousands of times, it would take a very long time to do. Instead, I can just use the scripting tool to accomplish the same action with just one click of a button, and this is exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to click Cancel to come out of this window, and then I'll select File, and I'll select the Scripting option. The first thing I'm going to do is click on the arrow here, and select New to define a new script. I'm going to name this script Porosity. And then I'll click OK. The first thing I need to do in this script is to add a repeat action loop by right-clicking on the first row and selecting Repeat Action Loop. Now this loop will be repeated the number of times I specify in the Values column. Since I want 10 realizations, I'll specify a value of 10. Now within this repeat action loop, I have to specify the actions that I want to repeat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the middle row and select the option Geostatistical Calculation. And for the calculation, I'll select the poor calculation I had defined earlier in the Geostatistics section. So since everything in this loop will be repeated 10 times, as it stands right now, the geostatistics calculation will be repeated 10 times, and each time I will get a new porosity realization. So the next action I need to specify in this loop is to save each new realization in a different file. So to do this, first I need to add a row inside the loop, and I'll do that by clicking on this plus option here at the bottom. Then I'll right click on the new row that was created, and I have now two options. I can either save the new realization in a new data set, which means 10 different data sets will be created, each with a different porosity distribution, or I can save the property in an include file. In this case, I will choose to create 10 include files by choosing save property as include. So first, I'll set the prefix of the include file to be porosity by just deleting all of this and specifying porosity. I'll leave the array saving method as default, and I'll change the saving type to be only save include file. And I'll check off the porosity property because I do want it to save each realization in a different include file. I'm just checking off which property is saving in those files. So once I've done, I'll click OK. And that row is added into the loop.
So now I've defined a repeat loop to run 10 times, and each time it's going to run the geostatistical calculation to calculate a new porosity distribution. Then it will save the property in an include file, and once it's done all 10 realizations, it's going to end the repeat loop. So now I can just hit run script to run this script. So as you can see, the realizations of porosity are actually changing in the background. And you have some text telling you which realization is being created and that all the information is actually being saved in the include files. While the geostatistics calculation runs, it calculates a new porosity distribution. Each realization then is saved in a different include file in your folder. So once this is done, I can go to launcher and show all the different realizations that were created. So here, it's done running the script, which is why it says done running script. Now if I navigate back to my launcher, in my folder I have 10 different realizations, each realization holding a different porosity array. So if I right click on one of them and click text pad, I can view the array for porosity distribution in this specific case. And each case will have a different porosity distribution. This can be used in CMOS to perform an optimization study on this reservoir. So I'm going to close this file. So as you can see also, each case has the prefix porosity. It just appends a number to the end to specify which realization number each file corresponds to. So that was a quick example of how this scripting tool can be used. The script can also easily be configured to save the updated porosity in a .dat file instead of an include file by first just deleting the include option here by clicking on the row and selecting X, and then I'll hit a plus sign to add a new row. So in this new row, I can right click, and instead of selecting save properties include, I'll select save as data set. Again, I'll change the prefix to pour, and then just click OK. So now each time the porosity is recalculated, it'll save the new porosity array in a data set. So you'll have 10 different data sets, each with all the other properties being identical, and the porosity distribution will be different in each data set. And also what I can do, if I add a new row again, and I right click on this row, I can select Q for simulation. What this will do is that it'll generate this .dat file, and then right after generating it, it'll submit it straight to the simulator. So if I select this, the window looks identical to what it looks like when you run any other job. So I can specify to run on two cores. I can specify the local scheduler, the 2016-10 version, and then I can just click OK. So now this loop will run 10 times, each time calculating a new porosity array based on this geostatistical calculation. Each array will be saved inside a new data set, and then immediately after it's saved, it'll run the simulation model. So that I can just click Run Script. And now as it generates the realization, you'll see that it saves the .dat file, and then it'll submit the .dat file to run. So if I go back to Launcher, and I actually update it, all these new .dat files are being generated as the scripting tool is running. And then once they're done running, as it shows right here, now the script is done running. In Launcher, those data sets will be submitted to run. So all the data sets have already shown up here, and now they're going to run automatically. So the great thing about this is now you can create 100 different realizations if you wanted, and then just submit them to run right away. And then you can see the effect the different realizations are having on your simulation results. So that's how you can use the scripting tool to automate the creation of realizations. Thank you for watching.